Hi there guys, Jack here from Pure Creative Designs and in this video we're going to be looking at using render settings um, to get the best quality out of your animations in Cinema 4D. Now um, as you can see here, I just have this nice um, like intro I've just made here. Um, this is just based on the like um, camera video, um, yeah camera angle video I've been um, just put up um, before. So um, yeah, so it, I've got this intro here and I want to render it out now. If you don't know how to render out of um, Cinema 4D, then this video is going to help you or people who want to get the best quality. Now, um, got to admit, Cinema 4D is an absolute piss take to render from. Uh, it just takes so long, it renders every single frame. So, what I do is I try make every single thing um, take as less as long, um, less time as possible, but best quality. I don't want it to be, you know, really fast and just be awful quality. So, I just want it to be decent quality and you know, give a nice effect. So, um, yeah, let's get started. So, I'm just going to come up here to this um, thing like the movie sign with this thing behind it. If we click that, it's going to bring us into our gen gen general, and um, I'm going to choose the render engine to be full render. The output mode, um, I'm going to make sure that my um, width is 1280 by 720 because that is um, 720p size um, pixels. So, I'm going to put it as that. You could use 1080 if you want, um, I wouldn't personally because it's going to take forever so I'm just going to do um, 12 8 by 720 now this is um, important this is going to be from what um, frame you're going to want to start off to uh, all the way to your end one so I'm going to start off at zero frames because that's at the start and then um, two it's going to be right at the end my end's at um, 100 and I'm going to do it about 165 Okay, so it's going to be 0 to 165 frames. Now this is going to differ for you because it's going to be from zero all the way to what your end result is, and mine is um, 165. Now the longer it is, it's going to take longer. So um, try to keep it as small as possible. But if you're obviously going to be doing a big intro, it's going to be quite a long. So in the in the output settings, we're just going to make sure our output size is um, 1280 by 720. Resolution doesn't really matter. I keep mine on 72. Um, you can put it up even higher if you want for a bit more detail. Um, but I think 72 is just fine. I don't think there's any problems with that. I'd keep it under 100 if I was you. Okay, um, we can leave all that. There's nothing really we need to mess around with there. Now, if we go to save, um, you can browse to wherever you want. I'm, I've saved mine on desktop as new intro. Um, okay, so I'm just going to save that there. So um, you can put it wherever you want. You put it in your documents, whatever. Uh, make sure you saved is ticked there. And then um, the format now, um, it was originally on. TIF PDS layers. Now we don't want it on that because that's just going to go in as an image. So I'm going to click down, and I'm going to go down to either any of these two. Now you can choose AVI Movie if you want, or you can choose QuickTime Movie. Now I use QuickTime Movie because AVI Movie doesn't seem to work that well. So I choose QuickTime Movie, and then I render it out through um, Vegas, Sony Vegas, um, to get better quality because it comes out quite a big size. So what I would do is I would keep it as um, QuickTime. Um, use AVI if you want, but I use QuickTime. And then I'm just going to come over here to my options panel, and I'm going to make sure I'm on compression type as an animation, 30 frames per second, and make sure my quality is at best. Okay, so that is it. That's all we need to know. We don't need to mess around with any of them. Um, you can mess around with them if you want. But there's just really no need. Um, I I would just stick to the three here: the general, full render, output. Make sure we change the width, the height, and um, also what. Um, frames, so zero frames to whatever frame you want the um, video to end and the save, obviously save it wherever we want it to go now um, what you can do is if you go down here to render setting you can actually save the preset as whatever you want, so you could save it and then if you, once you've saved it you can come back and load that preset so you, everything's there, so you can save whatever you like and um, use it like that so once we finish we can just exit out of it and see this one here in the middle, we can click that and now it's going to start to render. Now as you can see it's going to render every single frame like this. So this is why it is pretty slow. And uh, as you can see we're on 0. Now we're on 1. And it will go through all of them. And mine goes all the way up to 165. So it's going to take quite a while as you can see. It um, doesn't really tell me an unexpected time at the minute. Um, but yeah it will take a while. But that is um, it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, we're gonna have gonna have a lot more um, After Effects and Cinema 4D videos up. Also, um, Dreamweaver videos. Um, so if you like learning about that, because all my um, Dreamweaver intros are crap, so I'm just gonna make some better ones of them. 
But um, definitely follow me on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash pcreatedesigns for um, latest news and updates. So that's it, guys. See ya.